In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make game passes in Roblox Studio so you can start earning Robux on your games. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this base plate template over here. Once you've opened your game file, the first thing you want to do is publish your game to Roblox. So I'm going to go to this top left corner over here and click File. Then click Publish to Roblox. And then I'm going to name my game Game Pass Test 1. Now you can name it whatever you want. After that, we're going to click Create. Now, if you've already created a game, you can just click the publish button one more time and it should be ready to go. So what we have to do now is we have to go ahead and create the game pass. So go to your browser and search create.roblox.com. So this will take you to the creator hub, which you see on the screen right now. And what you want to do is you want to go under creations and find your game. Now, if it's a group game, you might have to go to the top left corner and select the group that the game is under. So the game I just created was called Game Pass Test 1. So I'm going to go ahead and click it to open it. So on the left side, you want to scroll all the way down to where it says Passes. So this is where you're going to create your game passes. So I'm going to click Create a Pass. And here I'm going to name my game pass. So the game pass I'm going to make today is going to be a sword game pass. So I'm just going to name it sword game pass. Now we're going to click this button that says create pass. Then we're going to open up this game pass and we're going to go under sales and we're going to toggle this item for sales button and we're going to set a price that we want. So I'm just going to set it to one Robux and we're going to click save changes. Before we go back to Roblox Studio, you want to go ahead and take down this Game Pass ID. So it should be in the URL and it's the second set of numbers. The first set of numbers is your Game ID and the second set of numbers is your Game Pass ID. So you want to go ahead and copy that down. So I'm going to go back into Roblox Studio and I'm going to start scripting. So since this is a sword Game Pass, I'm going to go into the toolbox and I'm going to find a sword for us to use. So I'm going to open up the toolbox and I'm going to search sword. Now I'm going to find the sword that's made by Roblox. So usually it's going to be the first one and it says Roblox is the creator. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it into the workspace. So it tells me that the sword contains two scripts. We're going to say OK. And we do not want to insert it into starter pack. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to close the toolbox and now we have our sword that we're going to use. So I'm going to move the sword over to server storage. So I'm going to drag it down here. And I'm going to rename the tool to be called sword. Now I'm going to insert a part into workspace. Now this part is going to be our prompt part. So when players touch this part, they will be prompted to buy our game pass. So I'm going to leave it in the middle here. I'm going to disable can collide and I'm going to anchor the part. And I'm going to call the part sword prompt. Now I'm going to go into server script service and I'm going to insert a script. Now I'm going to name the script by game pass. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get the marketplace service. So local marketplace service equals game get service marketplace service. Next, we're going to get the server storage. So we're going to do local server storage equals game get service server storage. Next, we're going to get the sword prompt part. So we're going to do game dot workspace dot sword prompt. Now we're going to have two functions. So the first function is going to be the function that runs when the player has finished purchasing the game pass. We're going to have a few parameters. So the first parameter is going to be the player then the purchase pass ID. So the game pass ID and then whether or not the purchase was a success. So if the player successfully purchased the game pass, we're going to give them the sword. So first I have to check if purchase success is equal to true. 
And then we also have to check if the game pass ID is our sword game pass ID because we don't want to give them a sword if they bought a different game pass. So we're going to check if purchase pass ID equals the game pass ID we had from before. So this is where the game pass ID comes in. So make sure you save that number. If not, just go back to your browser and copy down your game pass ID. And remember, everyone's game pass ID is going to be different. So don't copy mine. If you do, your script won't work. So after you've checked if the purchase pass ID is your sword game pass ID, we're going to give them the sword. So we're going to do server storage, wait for child, sword, clone dot parent equals player dot backpack. We're also going to do server storage, wait for child, sword, clone dot parent equals player dot starter gear. So what we do here is we clone the sword and we put it in the player's backpack so that they get to use it. We also put it in their starter gear so when they respawn, they'll also get to keep their sword. Now the second function we have to code is the prompt purchase function. So this function will detect when a player has touched our sword prompt part and it will prompt them to buy the game pass. So first we have to detect if this part that's touching our sword prompt part is a player. So if other part dot parent find for child humanoid, then local player equals game dot players get player from character other part dot parent local game pass ID equals our game pass ID. We're going to create another variable called has pass and we're going to set it equal to false. Now we're going to check if the player owns the game pass. So we're just going to wrap this in a P call. So has pass equals marketplace service user owns game pass async player dot user ID game pass ID. So here we're checking if the player owns the game pass. So if has pass equals true, then we're going to print player has sword game pass. Else we're going to prompt the game pass purchase. So if they don't have the game pass, we want to prompt them. So marketplace service prompt game pass purchase player game pass ID. And lastly, we need to connect the two functions to events. So marketplace service dot prompt game pass purchase finished connect on game pass purchase. And we're going to remove these extra brackets. Next, we're going to do sword prompt part dot touched connect prompt purchase. And we're going to remove the extra packets. So when players have finished interacting with the prompt, we're going to connect this first function over here. We're going to check if they've successfully bought the game pass and whether the game pass that they bought is the sword game pass. If both of these conditions are true, then we're going to give them the sword. And this second event over here is basically a touched event that will fire this function that will prompt the game pass anytime a player touches our prompt part over here. So I'm going to go ahead and save that by doing file save to Roblox and I'm going to click play. Now, okay, let me touch this prompt part and see if we're prompted with the game pass purchase. Okay, so it looks like we aren't prompted, but I think I know why. So in the output, it's telling me that the player already owns the sword game pass. And this happens because if this game is owned by you and you create a game pass, you automatically own that game pass. I can go back to our game and I can open it in Roblox. And you can go under store and you can see that we own the sword game pass. So for this to work, we need to delete the sword game pass from our inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it by clicking on it 
clicking these three dots and clicking delete from inventory. So now that I deleted it, I'm going to go back inside the game. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to run it again. So I'm going to go back to this prompt part over here and this time it should prompt me the game pass purchase. So now it prompts me to buy the sword game pass. So I'm going to buy it and it should give me the sword. And it does. Now I should tell you that purchases made inside of Roblox Studio don't actually count. So if you go back to the Game Pass page, it will still show that you don't own the Game Pass after you've deleted it. So I'm just going to stop the game over here and we're going to code one more thing. So I'm going to go back into Service Script Service and I'm going to insert another script. I'm going to call this script on player joins. Now this script will basically detect when a player joins the game, checks if they have a game pass, and if they do, they'll give them the sword. So this basically ensures that players who bought the game pass will always get the sword, even if they bought it outside of the game. Or if they bought it inside the game and then they left, if they ever decide to join back, they will still get to keep their sword. So I'm going to get the marketplace service first. I'm going to get server storage. Now I'm going to connect a player added event. So this event will fire when a player joins. I'm going to set the game pass ID to the one we had created. Remember everyone's game pass IDs are going to be different. So make sure to use yours here. I'm going to set has pass equal to false. I'm going to check if they have the game pass. So has pass equals marketplace service user owns game pass async player dot user ID and game pass ID. And if has pass is equal to true, we're going to give them the sword. So we're going to duplicate the sword we have in server storage and put it inside the player's backpack. And we're also going to place it inside the starter gear. Now we're going to test these scripts, but before that we have to make sure we've published the game to Roblox. If you don't publish your changes, then when players play your game, they don't see any of the changes that you've made. So make sure you go to file and click publish to Roblox. So now I'm going to go to my game and you can do that by finding it inside your creator hub and clicking these three dots over here and click view on Roblox. So I'm going to go ahead and click play. All right, so I'm inside my game right now and I'm going to go over this prompt part and I'm going to see if we get prompted with the game pass purchase. All right, it prompts us. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this game pass and hopefully we're given the sword. And it looks like it worked. I got the sword and if I reset, I should be able to keep my sword. And I do. Now let's try one more thing. I'm going to leave the game and I'm going to try and join back and I'm going to see if I kept my sword. So here it shows I own the game pass. So now that we've added that second script, the game should give me back my sword. And it looks like it did. So that is how you add game passes to your games in Roblox Studio. If you're interested in learning more about Roblox scripting, check out my Roblox scripting guide for beginners video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.